This is the first presentation I gave introducing the plank holder opportunity. It also includes a little bit of my personal journey. Thank you so much, Doreen, and uh, thank you all very, very much. I get an opportunity to share uh, my past filled with a lot of pain, but it's helped me serve the people that I serve so much better. Um, unfortunately, my childhood is not super unique. I learned that one in four boys and one in thir three girls are, are, are abused before they're 18 years old. I didn't expect uh, a lot for my adult life, but I was super blessed. I met an amazing wife and we've been together for 30 years. It probably helped that she studied abnormal psychology because that has helped me a lot. Um, in 96, started the ad agency and got my start in special effects and ad agency stuff. And in 2000, started our first foundation, the Quietly Working Foundation, which led then to uh, a lot of good stuff. Um, on March 25th, 2013, I died. Um, it's a really cool story. I'd love to talk about it. The meeting link is up there in the top uh, and reach out to me. I'd love to set up a time and talk to you. First three months absolutely sucked. But then I started to figure out my big why. And what I realized is that every pain I experienced, every system I've developed, every program I've created has paved the road to today. Decades ago, when CEOs needed help speaking to media and boards, we developed the WellHo personal development system. And when uh, military widows asked for a long-term mentorship program for their kids, we developed uh, the Dream Development Project, which is a 10-year mentorship program to help them figure out what their dreams are and how to get there. And as we were meeting other youth service organizations around the world, we needed a hub to manage all those relationships. So we created the IYSR, the International Youth Service Registry. And then that brings us to today. The Missing Pixel Project is the missing piece of the puzzle that fits all of it together. The Missing Pixel Project it brings creative technology training to underserved youth all around the world. Uh, creative technology training, what that means is it'll, it'll, it basically is uh, uh, visual effects, special effects, uh, film work, virtual production, and game development. And underserved youth is the ages of 13 to 30, and it will start with homeless youth, foster kids, and indigenous youth in a couple other countries. We'll use our new and existing relationships with local youth service organizations to be the boots on the ground support for vetting our students and for program feedback. And then as students begin their second year, they're going to need real world work. And I've converted my creative agency to a public benefit organization so that 100% of the profits are going to feed back into our nonprofit loop for a self-sustainable future. Our goal is to become 50% or more self-sustaining within seven years. So part of the Quietly Working Foundation mission is to support other youth service organizations. And this will give us an opportunity to help great nonprofits better tell their stories as well as teaches our teach our students the value of giving back. And so often in all my years, I've seen great nonprofits getting caught up in a competitive struggle for resources that breaks down communication and transparency. And it's our plan to be an example by helping these organizations while also growing and providing a sustainable future for ourselves. Now the exciting part, we are now, we're now in the plank holder stage. Uh, so when a massive ships are being built with wood, the initial crew were called plank holders. And as we embark on our massive journey, we'd like you to be a part of the initial crew. Here's a peek of the game environment that we're developing to welcome every student and donor and corporate partner. 
those who empower the Missing Pixel project to launch will be considered lifelong plank holders and immortalized on the entry ship that everyone will first explore in the game. This ship will be a fun and interactive way for not only our students, but all of our corporate and nonprofit partners to learn about the program and see what the students will be learning. And remember, plank holders are for life, and we're excited to create unique opportunities for you in the years to come. It's kind of like an environmentally friendly NFT if you're hip on the tech stuff. Our goal is to raise around $100,000 in the plank holder round, and this will empower us to continue program development while we pursue the grants needed to bring on our full-time staff. We have an absolutely radical infrastructure team that is 100% behind the Missing Pixel project and our dream for a self-sustaining nonprofit ecosystem. Thank you guys so much uh, for the honor of presenting to you and telling you a little bit of my personal journey. And uh, I am available for any questions and it'd be the pleasure of my lifetime to have you on our team. Um, I'll leave you with something that's always on my mind. We can live for 30 days without food. We can live three days without water, but we can only live a few minutes without hope. And let's let's give them hope. Um, and so this opportunity will be available on missingpixel.org. And uh, it's just absolutely an honor to be presenting to you guys as the first people that ever hear about this. Thank you guys so, so much.